Hi, Crypto Kings and Queens. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have another collaboration with CryptoKid. And it was a long time ago we saw each other. So I'm happy to have you back on my channel. And how is everything going for you? Everything is going perfect. Yeah, it's been a it's been a very long time. Uh, last time we did uh, some content together. So excited to give you some nice technical analysis today. There are some important news events that um, will be important to discuss because it's going to be a vol very volatile day tomorrow. Um, and something very interesting happened just a couple of minutes ago, actually. So looking forward to sharing all of this content with you guys. Hey, I'm super excited to listen to this. So I think we're just going to go straight into the charts. And now you, you can win yourself this Apple Watch Series 8 when you are signing up through my link in the description down below the video, also pinned right here in the corner. If you are depositing or when you are depositing $100, you, you get a $10 back when you are placing your first trade. And you will also be able to win this Apple Watch Series 8. I was a little bit boring when it came to the color, but you got multiple colors that you can choose in between. So don't take a black one. Just be a little bit more fun than I am, okay? But this is a leverage trading platform where you have leverage from 2x to 100x. And if you have never used this platform before, I have a great tutorial for you to look at. You have it also pinned right here somewhere in the corner. And you can see the picture there. In this video, I do break down exactly on how you're using this platform. And of course, I want you to know exactly on how you're using this platform before you're using it so you're not losing more money than you should. Okay, so take this serious, look at the video, and then also remember the Apple Watch Series 8 that you will be able to win until the 4th of September 2023. So let's start off with Bitcoin, right? So as you guys know, it's been a pretty devastating uh, last week for the crypto markets. Uh, we saw Bitcoin fall. We saw a lot of altcoins drop towards the downside, uh, you know, 17%. We saw 19% Uniswap. So it's been a pretty catastrophic week. Uh, but uh, the good news is, right, the support line of $25,200 looks to be holding well on the weekly time frame. This is giving me some hopium because if you guys watch my channel, maybe you do, maybe you don't, uh, uh, we've been talking about this support line on the weekly time frame. And this support line was super critical. And I was talking about if we were to break below, especially the $27,900 level, which is very critical in terms of demand. Uh, then Bitcoin would have a very dramatic fall. Now, in all honesty, I didn't expect it to be this fast at this magnitude. However, as soon as we broke below this level of support, we crashed down all the way to $24,000. Now, the thing that was concerning me is uh, in different exchanges, for example, Bybit, Binance, and on OKX, there was a large price discrepancy. Um, and why is that? For example, on Binance, I believe it was closer to $25,000, whereas on OKX, it's closer to twenty four. dollars so the reason for this is because of low liquidity. Now, after the FTX situation, a lot of market makers left the space. And when market makers leave the space, liquidity falls um, on assets. And this is concerning because Bitcoin being the most mature asset of the cryptocurrencies, it having this big of a price discrepancy uh, between these exchanges is actually very concerning. So um, that's the thing that concerned me. That's the reason why we had that big spike on Bitcoin. Uh, but right, I, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm a maximalist. I'm a semi-maximalist, I like to call, uh, in terms of Bitcoin. I'm a big believer in Bitcoin. Um, and I do believe towards 2024, towards the halving, it looks like the ETFs are going to be delayed to the first half of, of 2024 too. So I believe towards 2024, we will see Bitcoin breaking up. But again, the thing that's giving me hope is that we're holding this 25.2K. And if we don't drop below it, then I do think Bitcoin can trend, you know, in between this range of twenty five and thirty one thousand dollars coming up to twenty twenty four. So that is what I'm seeing now in terms of the news events. Right. The first thing I want to talk about that just happened a couple of minutes ago is that BRICS, they have the BRICS summit summit at the moment. And they just announced that Argentina, Egypt, Iran, UAE and Saudi Arabia will be joining BRICS. Now, this is incredible. Why? Uh, because BRICS will be starting to have their own currency that they will trade their uh, goods uh, between each other. And this will really devalue the dollar. Now, 
if the dollar begins to lose its value, what's going to happen? Well, American banks are going to go in under a lot of pressure. Uh, American American economy will get worse. Uh, and Michael Burry even opened a multi over a billion dollars short in the market. He announced that. Um, and what does this mean? Well, it means that the U.S. is going to head to very bad times in uh, in terms of finance, right? So their economy may get depleted. And if that happens from Bitcoin, Bitcoin's history from banks collapsing, from the dollar losing its value, we know that Bitcoin tends to increase in price. So if this happens, then Bitcoin can uh, see a draw, uh, see an increase towards the upside, and this increase could be very significant. So that um, simultaneously, the ETFs and of course uh, the halving can take Bitcoin towards new heights uh, in the coming months. So that is my perspective on the markets. And the final thing before I leave it to Natalie is that tomorrow the Fed chair will be speaking. Now he's speaking at a conference. Um, it's called Jackson Hole. And this Jackson Hole Summit, if you want to call it, is a very, very prestigious conference where all of the policymakers, all the economists, um, they, they come to this conference and they have talks for, I believe it's three to four days. And it's Incredible. They, they they basically decide the future of the U.S. economy within that conference. Um, and the Fed chair will be speaking from the conference tomorrow. So that will most likely cause some volatility in the markets. He's most likely going to talk about tighter monetary policy, um, more interest rates to come. So if he does mention that, then um, I do believe Bitcoin can see a small dip, but I don't think it will last that long. So that is my um, outlook on the markets. Do you think that uh, bottom has hit for BTC or uh, what level do you think the market can have that drop from as you're talking about, even if it's quick? Um, I'll say this. Um, I'm not, I mean, the level we're at right now, uh, it's very good support, like I shared. It's very good support. And I'm a firm believer in buying when there's fear and selling when there's greed. So at a moment like this, there's clearly fear. There's clearly this, um, there's clearly, there's a lack of trust in the market. Um, there's a lack of volume. So I personally think that this is a good level to be DCing into. Uh, but is this the bottom? It may very well not be. But I'll say that this is very good level of support. And I believe 25K Bitcoin is very cheap. So if you're going in this in the long term, not derivatives trading, then uh, I think it's a nice place to be DCing into for some long, uh, for some long-term positions. But what do you do on your YouTube channel? I know a lot of people already do follow you, but for the ones that is new on your channel, what do you give? I mean, we obviously know that you give a lot of good information, but just give me a little, give us a little bit quickly of what you're doing. Yeah, sure. So I do um, almost daily technical analysis content. I do education um, upon the crypto and blockchain space. Uh, so yeah, check me out, Crypto Kid. I'm sure Natalie will leave a link in the description below. Um, yeah, daily daily TA um, news, breaking news updates. So yeah, definitely check out the channel. Yeah. Okay, guys, you heard it. So you have the link to Crypto Kids YouTube channel down below the video. I will also pin it somewhere here in the corner. So thank you so much once again for being on my channel. And until we see you next, uh, see each other next time, I wish you all good and have a great day. <laughs> awesome. Take care, guys. Thanks so much, Bye. Natalie.